Hey guys, it's STW9495 here, bringing you a, a little bit of a tune-up video on a uh, 2000 Cavalier 2.2. I think it might be an Echo Tech. If it's not, it's just 2.2. We're gonna be doing uh, plugs, wires, and a little bit of sea foam today. So uh, I guess I'll just get right to it. All right, guys, I've already pulled one wire, and uh, when you're replacing plugs and wires, you always want to do it one step at a time, especially wires, because if you don't, you'll lose track of where they are on the uh, coil packs. And well, actually, I take that back; it's got it numbered for you. But it's just a good idea to do it one step at a time. We're we'll replacing some, uh, some uh, six dollar and forty nine cent AC Delcos because that's what GM recommends, and we're chasing down some mileage issues here fuel mileage issues so that's what we're putting well, back guys, in there. there is a uh, older plug turns out it was actually running AC Delcos all along uh, you can tell it's really not that bad to be honest so it might make a difference it might not but it's a good idea to do it every so often it does look kinda old so guess we'll get the uh, other three and then get on to replacing the uh, all right. wires alright guys so we got uh, fresh plugs in there and now we're gonna do the uh, wires and for wires um, we got these BWD uh, select. Uh, they're fairly decent wires. They came from O'Reilly's. Get them all out here. Get them all out in the open. And so you get a set of four, and you get a little bit of uh, I think it's dielectric grease. Yeah, silicone dielectric compound. Now I've honestly never done a set of wires before. Uh, I would just assume that the uh, longest one goes. Where the uh, longest one left, so that's probably the shortest. So I guess we'll just do it first. That's probably uh, that is. Oops, this one, and then get it out of the loom, and it is. Oh, no, it's there. We go. I don't know how to honestly open this little. All right, so uh, after a little bit of difficulty with uh, this little clip, uh, I do have it open now, and we are working on cylinder. Number four, obviously. You just want to pull this uh, shortest wire out, and the shortest wire is going back. Yeah, that's just a little bit of grease. I'm going to put a little bit on there because it's kind of corroded. Keep it from doing that. And put a little bit on the plug. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Snap that on. That was really easy, actually. And then bring it on through here. And then put it back in the loom. And then put it back on the plug. Just like so, and then I guess you just repeat that for the other four, and that's about it. All right, guys, there's the uh, moment of truth, I guess. Uh, there's the old plugs and or the old plugs and wires. There's the new wires and everything run in, and I did it all one at a time, so it should fire up without incident. But of course, as we all know, should and what really happens is sounds good. Camera. Just make sure you sort of put you know how to use it. Alright, now we're gonna do sea foam and this is sure. Huh? It is. Alright. Look at me, Peter. Alright. Alright, so now we're gonna do sea foam. Uh, this is the way I use sea foam. I don't know how some people use it this way. I like to use it. I like to do you, know, you uh do a third in your vacuum line and a third in your uh uh, oil on third in your gas tank. So what you're going to do is you reach down here, pull off vacuum line, and you're going to idle up. Work around here. This is going to buy down a little bit.
what we're gonna do is uh, let that sit for a while. Uh, usually, I think Seafoam recommends like five to ten minutes, and you can kind of see down there. I use about a third of the can, and we're gonna put a third in the engine oil, and then we're gonna take that out when we change it, and uh, we're gonna put a third in the gas tank. So, uh, try and get here. Cavaliers, you can uh, fill and check from the uh, same dips or the same thing. You don't want to pour too much in there because it'll kind of tends to it'll make your oil degrade a little bit faster. That should be about a third. I'm just doing it by kind of weight or sort of. Right, and we're gonna put third in the gas tank. And that's got that. And uh, I guess we will uh, get back to you guys when uh, the uh, about 15 minutes and be in for a smoke show. Definitely better than my car. Pretty awesome. Here, you want to hold it? And get some of the, yeah. Pretty nice cloud. Probably got quite a bit more to go. Hold it. Roll. Well, guys, that is uh, what I'd like to call a, a little bit of a tune-up on the Cavalier. I guess we're going to take it for a little drive and hopefully clear all the rest of the smoke out. So, yeah, it's good and quiet. That's uh, HCW-9495 tune-up on a uh, 2000 Cavalier. I'll catch you guys later.